everybody, welcome back to XCOM. This is Operation Stormwalker. We need to hack a hidden resistance computer. Uh, we don't have any tech specialists available right now. Uh, we are already starting to learn one of the challenges with covert infiltration is that our squad and our roster is all over the place doing a lot of activities. So uh, we have to get in close to that computer and uh, hack it. It'll be fun. Uh, there's a resistance rumor up for grabs. I don't know what that is. Happy to learn about it. Uh, we're going for uh, a dark event delay, which is great. And a little bit of an intel. Taking out Raid, Treason, Libby, Cuttlefish, Peppa Bear, and Mastermind. We have uh, two of the med kits on the medics, so we have lots of healing. Uh, Sapper's out here. We've got a flashbang over here. And uh, we're running one of our marines with the light machine gun, which is basically like the, the heavy cannon uh, old school look. So... Uh, shall we rock and roll? Let's do it. This is our first mission with our new skirmisher. Very excited. Let's see how this goes. Today's log comes from Bristlecone Pine, who writes for Cuttlefish. This is uh, in reference to the Gatecrasher mission, which is what you're going to hear from a lot of these logs for the next few episodes. Uh, immediately following Commander Odd's rescue from a gene therapy clinic, he personally led a mission to take an advent prison holding some scientific and engineering personnel. He was the only one wounded, and his swordsmanship leaves something to be desired. I'd offer to give him a lesson or two if he promises not to throw me off the ship. Meanwhile, Alessandra got rescued by the Templars. I'll keep you informed of her status. She's got to be my replacement in case I get scraped. alien forces nearby and hack that terminal before they manage to lock it down. We need that data if we're going to stop their progress. Okay, it's tunnels. You know, I don't want to jinx anything. So I'm not going to say anything. Simple. Menace one five. This is Avenger. The Easy access piece. point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Okay, let's begin. Do we have anybody with, like, super speed? Eh, I mean, like, almost, actually. Almost. I can't get anyone to blue move into that full cover. So, uh, we'll do the next best thing. And just take a little peek with Betrayus. Ugh. It's so sketchy in here already. Nothing. Okay. That seems fine. Uh, Jeanette, let's get you up front. We only have seven, seven turns. Where is it? Where are we? Like way over here. We're way, way far away. Like, whoa. Okay. Um. Okay. Huh. This is gonna be fun. Got it. Let's move Liberty in. Enemy sighted. Little Viper and a couple troopers. Peppa Peppa Bear. Ah, uh, man, I'm wondering how. We're going to have to handle this. Do we have anybody in this squad with Phantom? I don't think so. Yikes. Okay, well. I think we just end up... They, I mean, they could definitely go through here. There's actually a decent chance that they do. Um, let's grab this for now. And we'll move into full over on this side. Usually when we're when we drop in, we're just facing the objective. So I ran that way. I think this is that. Um, oh no, that's another thing that was reducing timers on a different mission. This is not a bad group though. This is not a, a horrible group to potentially deal with. I'm hoping we have the arm to chuck this far. Understood. Moving out. Might be a little bit out of range. I mean, I can hit two, and I think I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to go for it immediately. Let's grab... Wait, where are we at health-wise? Let's put Raid into the full cover. On the move. Up here. Uh, Treason will have a visual here. Overwatch is going to be light, but... Oh, maybe this is what we do. Maybe we roll with that. Save the other grenades. And dispatch of this group, like, confirmed, as fast as humanly possible. Yes, Commander. 
Okay, so let's do it. Everyone's in decent enough cover. I feel like our chances of getting there are quite good. We have one guaranteed damage from Cuddle, and then we've got the big grenade blast coming in hot. I might have to just pull some distractions. And, uh, oh, we're getting a little, a little tease of something coming up there. Oh, okay. Gunslinger. Let's see here. We might not have to use all our overwatches, which could be good if these land. That's beautiful. 67, I'll take it. Amazing. Reminiscent of the opening gate crasher. Let's see if these guys trigger some overwatches as well. Nothing yet. Okay. Target eliminated. Okay. And we see something way back there. Likely another tease. They got me. That's only fair. It's only fair. Oh, oh God. Oh, jeez. Is he facing off on? here? He's You're facing off. Half. Oh, that is a nasty looking here. group. Oh my god. Uh, Pathfinder Hunter with two armor. Pathfinders with two armor. Okay. <laughs> okay then. Yikes. What do these guys even do? Accurate hunter rifles to mark their targets. Okay. I mean, it should probably heal here. You're gonna be fine. We have to come up with a way of dealing with this ASAP. I can move into here for the flank on this trooper, right? Uh, but we do have a pretty nice zone suppression option. So I think what we might end up doing... Uh, we have this potential flank here, too. We might come down here and, like, zone suppress a bunch of these guys. These shots are pretty horrible. So I think we're just gonna get you into a better position. Uh, actually, if I move in, I might be able to get us up top here. Nope. Not gonna happen. A little too far. Okay, so you're sitting there for now. Treason. I mean, we have one guaranteed damage there, at least. These shots are so bad. We do have zone suppression here, too, though. So we might be better off... ...pulling up on here with Peppa Bear. Hopefully getting that kill. And then we could come out and defend against this Pathfinder, but... No. All right, I think I'm gonna do this. Because then we might drop like a bunch of suppression. 88 versus 93 on the stun. Three to five. I think I'm gonna go for the kill because then I can maybe use the uh, shotgun stock to clean it up if we. Don't kill him, but we did, so that's fine. All right, so now... Peppa, we're going to bring in. I think we're going to have to drop suppressions here. Treason, I'm going to bring up to half cover. Which is not my favorite spot to be. Libby, I might just overwatch in case this guy runs down. And then... I think I'm overwatching from half cover here. Absolutely. Or, uh, suppression, I should say. Come on, poke your head That's gonna hit three. Peppa Bear. can hit two. 
Pathfinder Hunter and Gunslinger. Ugh. They both don't seem awesome. Bring in the pin. Oh, I don't think we got him. And then Libby lets Overwatch. Come get some. Okay, that suppression chance. Amazing. I don't love that you guys are not moving at all. All right. I mean, it's a tickle. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, God. Okay. I guess these guys are built for these tanks. Not so much the offensive output, which, thank God, is the case. Now I pretty much have to run this. I'm trying to get this guy. Hold on. This Pathfinder needs to be dealt with, first of all. Uh, do I have any shredding on anyone? Oh, this weapon has it. Hold on. The light machine gun has shredding, I believe. Uh, maybe there's not a way I can see that. Oh yeah, shredding right here. So, what's the play? I've got two shots if I stay here. Now I can grapple up at least. And maybe we flashbang this group from full cover. Changing position. Man, I've, I have decent shots from here, though. <laughs> it's tempting. Let's save that until we decide what we want to do. The other option is uh, taking a shot here, grenading here to remove some armor, and then swinging Raid over to try and finish that up. Raid and Libby. I think... Oh, wait. Actually, I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can throw a grenade after firing. Taking your direct shot will not end the turn, but any remaining action points will be limited to only overwatch suppression or reloading. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So then, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cycle out here. I'm on it. Only 46. Ugh. Not amazing. Boom! Let's take something that's guaranteed. Especially in the face of all this armor. And then I think maybe we bring Libby. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. We can go here now at least. Whatever you say. We took out that part of the wall. Yikes! Missed. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty major Bring miss, actually. Ready to go. Oh my god, guys! Still up. Oh my god! So these guys, that extra defense is really what's killing us at the moment. I'm going to have to flashbang that group, I think. And I need to finesse this. If I can. Is this hitting our guy? I really hope it's not. Don't know if I can remove that pillar anyway. Up, up. Buckle up. That's that's big. That's big. Okay. 
Okay. So now the question is... Can we kill this? We have a decent chance there, but then we have this Pathfinder Hunter. He's got three potential damage, plus crits and stuff. And Raid is out of his vision currently. So I might still save a flashbang for him. Uh, Cuttlefish, I'm at least going to move up into full cover. It's the best I can actually do. And I can still hit with a grenade. Heading out. Yeah. I think the best option is to flashbang that group. And take this. Get ready for a surprise. Okay, let's make sure we're not blinding our our own squad here. Trying to make the best of a not great scenario. Yikes! Oh, what a nice, what a nice flank. I didn't even, I didn't even consider that actually. I got seven health and armor on treason, so we're gonna try and blast this Overwatch. His aim's not great, plus the suppression. Oh my god, these 70% are killing me, Smalls. They're killing me. Um, let's get another heal here. Don't move. You'll be alright. We got three turns to get in there. I hope hopefully this is all the pods. We can improve our chances from going up top here. Uh, the Pathfinder could maybe flank us from there, but pretty unlikely. The other option is Cuttlefish here. Actually, oh yeah, Treason had the shotgun. Okay, Peppa Bear, we've got we've got some flanks. We do have flanks, but ugh. six health. Yeah, I mean, I think we got to take that, right? Do we have any other grenades to shred some of this armor? Nope, not currently. Two shots at 62 there would be nice. Or we could even uh, take a shot and then get in for like a rip jack potential. Sure thing. Seventy-five there. What if we go point blank? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Only the best. Got to keep that in our back pocket, literally. Moving to position. 69. Nice. I mean, it's our best chance. Or we just go straight up suppression. Let's point blanket. Oh my god. Okay, that makes up for all the misses. Uh-oh. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. You gotta be kidding me. I'm blue moving here. Just to make sure if anything else is back there. Okay. Now, is this dropping up top? No, it's not. I would really like to take the high ground here, but... I don't think I'm going to have... Well, am I going to have visual from here? 
it's tough to tell. Let's do this. Oh, it's bios. Advent forces sighted. And a captain. Ball of boxing. In the flames. Nice shot. Damn, nice shots, guys. Those overwatches. Clutch. Starting to get cooked. <laughs> yeah. Starting to get cooked. I would agree with that. Dark event by two weeks, scanning times reduced. You know what? Not a big deal. We're trying to counter the dark event anyway. So let's, whatever, 13%. Yeah, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> it's a good try. It's a very good try. Confirm successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Okay, now the question is, how do they... They could come around here and get up top and flank me in this position. Um, I might just be better off tucking into this corner for now. Now that we don't have the timer, I think we're, we're able to chill a bit here. Well, I shouldn't say chill, but... So we'd be breaking this overwatch by moving this way. I don't think his would be triggering. I do have six health on this side. It's very nice that we killed the captain, let me tell you. You know what? I think I'm going to take the dash. It's calculated. Yeah, good. I wish he was getting both of those, but that's okay. So, I could come in here with the point blank on that trooper. If, if we can get a couple of shots on the trooper down there. Where's he got cover from? Oh, this little thing. Ooh. I mean, I could run all the way around here with uh, Adrenaline Rush. And then we've got, oh, we kind of want to use her there. Again, she's only got five health, but there's no range on this, so if he crits, we're probably okay. Probably. Mm -hmm. I think I gotta get treason in here. Seven health. We're going to go with Treason on that trooper. Tank the Overwatch if necessary. That's good for us. Not great chances. Oh. Are these the most clutch soldiers of all time? I shouldn't jinx it. I, sh I should not be jinxing that. And then we've got a point blank here. Dude, that was nasty. That sawed-off shotgun crits for a billion damage. We did take a bunch of wounds, though. That was a bit rough. Uh, 15 damage on Ozzy, most high in kill stealer. Uh, Treason, that 22 damage, wanton destruction, and most assists. Libby Bell, 8 damage, most exposed. Cuttlefish, MVP. 21 damage, all of the awards. Uh, Peppa Bear, 15. Leaf on the Wind, which one's this? Ran the most overwatches. And uh, Mastermind, absolutely zero damage, uh, but you did hack the thing. So, you know, good good on you. Good on you. Oh, that's actually a cool shot. Think the elders will like this one? I mean, they better. Okay. Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. In 
initial reports that the suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical propaganda. Those wound times. Rough, rough, rough. We might <laughs> we might want to scan at the Templar HQ for a little bit. Uh, treason. Very nice blast padding there. That was actually really helpful. So press the target with the assault rifle and provide a bonus of 10 aim to the shot if the target tries to move or attack with covering fire while suppressed. So basically just buffing our reactionary aim on suppressed targets. Return fire might not be bad. Uh, it says fire support. It says it's with the assault rifle. Um, I've been running mostly with the scatter gun. And if we keep her tanking up like this, she's got a decent amount of health. This return fire could be good. Uh, demolition is obviously really nice too, but I think I'm going to take return fire. Raid. Advanced trauma kits. Gain a, a revive charge. So this is that sergeant now. Uh, which means we're going to be getting a revive charge anyways, and healing abilities are going to heal for a bit more. Uh, combat conditioning increases mobility by 2 and aim by 5. I mean, it's actually pretty nice. An emergency aid. Uh, after activating this ability, the next med kit healing ability used that turn will not cost an action. So get the free heals and keep your actions. What's the cooldown? Three turn cooldown. Med kit, stabilize, revive, anti-venom stims, combat stimulant. Damn. Reviving a unit heals them an additional three HP and no longer ends your turn if you have actions remaining. Also increases the chance that a soldier will enter bleed out state rather than die and increases bleed out turns for all units in the squad. I gotta take it. That's one of the coolest perks for the uh, for these field medics, in my opinion. Okay, uh, so Adrenaline Rush is nice, definitely to have those options. This reposition could be good, like, especially going in with that point blank. Oh, it's a standard shot. I don't know if that counts, though. Shadow Step. And it allows free actions from activating emergency aid, which is here, or rapid deployment to be used after, after dashing. Shadow step is nice, but it's sometimes like we want to trigger them. Uh, really depends. Standard shots taken from primary weapons. Most secondary weapons and pistols are all valid. Well, that answers my question. Perfect. Let's get reposition on there. I wonder what, how long these wound times are. We're not seeing them. Okay, this was good. Resistance rumor. So is that a research well thing? Underway. I don't know how Without resistance rumors find play in yet, but we'll find out, I'm sure. The cities. Even among the staunchest of anti-alien dissidents, recovered advent equipment is highly coveted. So, I think we're still waiting. I am still hard at work Six on days on resistance comms, I'm going to put those in first. We have another mission ready to go very soon. Oh, rookies, that would be great. Our crew is getting rather big. If we were doing an increased region income, right? I think we're gonna do that Just first. Wait until they hear you're working with those advent goons that broke free somehow. Okay, mission ready. Rescue VIP from advent cell. The squad can assault now or they can over-infiltrate. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. 
Over infiltration. The infiltrating squad is prepared enough to launch the mission now. However, you're able to over infiltrate a mission, editing the mission sit reps after each additional 25% of infiltration up to 250%. That all sounds well and good, but over infiltration is recommended for difficult missions or inexperienced squads, but isn't necessary to complete every mission. The chance that one of the elders chosen will catch wind of our operation and show up to stop us will be reduced through continued infiltration. Uh, for more information about the squad's over-infiltration progress, click the yellow question mark button on the rightmost UI element. Commander, over-infiltration can be a worthwhile process for difficult missions. However, every day we spend uh, waiting is one more day the squad's unavailable. Exactly. Uh, if we believe the squad can handle the mission as is, I recommend going in as soon as possible. This is going to take some experimentation on our part. This sit rep sucks. Mission timers decreased by one. Got to rescue this engineer. Um, if we look at this, so here's the different uh, sit rep opportunities. So opportune moment, minus 15% detection radius, plus five crit. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, random sit rep, one. If we go to 175, we would remove this. Uh, but they're going to be in there for a lot longer. That's, that's the challenge, right? But this could be this could be a difference maker for sure. It could be. Maybe we try and get there. It's probably not necessary. It probably is not necessary. But let's um let's do it. Gorilla Tactics School now operational. All right, Gorilla Tactics School changes. Now has two training slots. Instead of training rookies to squaddies, it now has a max training rank value. Any soldier under that rank can be staffed to train up to the max training rank. The current max training rank can be seen in the top right, so we can train up to squaddy currently. Uh, if the staff soldier is a rookie, you may choose which class they'd be promoted to. Training a soldier from rookie to squaddy takes slightly longer than other rank increases. Makes sense, because they're totally noob. Uh, the max training rank starts at squaddy, but can be increased to corporal and sergeant through a resistance order and an upgrade in the guerrilla tactics school. That's a super nice change, actually. Okay, infiltration size one. Squads of five soldiers no longer suffer any penalty to infiltration time and can reach 250% infiltration. So that's a pr that's almost like the equivalent of a squad size increase. Um, the problem with spending this right now is that we really want to be able to buy um, the radio towers or the, the resistance communications. Uh, this will increase the GTS training rank by one for 150 supplies. Uh, medical training, all field medic soldiers, med medical specialist proficiency will start at level two regardless of rank. Marksmen's would start their proficiency at level two regardless of rank. And sappers, the same thing. I'm thinking this is because these guys are higher ranked in our base currently. Research is proceeding as planned. Five days on that? I don't even know if we can afford it. I have a feeling it's like 175 or something. Okay. So keep an eye on this. 105. Danilo is tired, gained XP, and health has increased. Happy to have that. We got a bunch of ability points for it. Sweet. Okay, so I like that it stops this. We, you can change this, by the way. Um, but I like that it stops us at these opportunities, and then you can see what the next thing is. So, Lightning Strike. XCOM units will gain plus three mobility for the first three turns of battle while the squad remains concealed. That could actually be quite helpful for us to get in a lot closer to where this engineer might be uh, sitting. The, the thing to consider, though, is that we might have to fight all the pods <laughs> when we get there, you know? Uh, I would just really like to remove this. It's going to take a bit, but let's do it for fun. Oh, stop. A new assault mission. Destroy the alien relay. Oh, my God. Counter dark event signal jamming. Now, we already did this, right? 
The Resistance heard about the Advent Signal Jamming Project. If you think it's necessary, we can send a team to disrupt it. Completing... Oh, this is another chain. Oh, so it's a bunch of events. Okay. It's a bunch of... Um, it's a bunch of assaults to stop it. That's really interesting. Enemy tech defense is increased by 20 and towers can't be hacked. The first advent reinforcement dropship will be delayed. And Pathfinder search terms. Fa Pathfinder squads are in the area searching for resistance cells. Captains will be leading squads of Pathfinders. Ugh, gross. How long on this? Three days? Commander, <laughs> the factions have indicated they know how to track down the Chosen. I we mean... construct the ring facility so they have a place to coordinate. We would have, uh, we'd have Ozzy, Black Ghost, Libby. We, I mean, we'd have a squad. We would have a squad, at least. The Advent propaganda machine is running full steam. Oh, We're I forgot to customize our Sky Ranger last episode. <laughs> it was a long one anyways. We'll do it today. We'll do it today. This is a very interesting uh, scenario here. Um, three days. Let me check something. Anybody tired for three days or less? 36 hours. Ethan will be back, but probably tired, but maybe not. Same thing here. So let's at least wait until that's done, and then we can make a more informed uh, decision. All right, so we're up to 150 now. This is so cool. Subvert the risk added sit rep, removing its effects on the mission. That's the plan. Let's stick to it. That was fast. Holy smokes. Okay, well that's definitely what we want to do. So here's what's up. We're gonna we're gonna take this mission now. We're gonna it's Tyrant, uh, Warmaster, the Cook, and Hexan. And, uh, yeah, we're going in. We remove the sit rep. We have that extra mobility at the start. Minus detection radius, extra crit. Uh, I'm happy about this. What is... Oh, what's the next one? A resistance soldier joins the squad. Ooh! The problem is if we just keep going, like, that could be super crucial, right? That would be very nice. But if we keep going, it's it's a bit greedy. Because we could have been in and out of that mission already. 34 hours. Let's see how quick this moves. Where is this? It's right below us, too. Okay, black market is found. So we still have to scan it. Our cooperation has proven hey, nice. To boom to the resistance. Twenty-seven hours there. One eighty-two. I think we can finesse that. Pierce, what do you want? What do you want to be? Assault infantry. Now we're talking, baby. Now we're talking. Love that. Okay, cool. Happy to have you. Oh, we do have a PCS chip for mobility. I forgot all about that. Um, you know who's gonna take that right now? Our Templar. Can be replaced, but not reused. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Destroy the alien relay. Keeping an eye on this. 194. 15 hours. So, you know what I'm thinking is... We do this first. Setting course for Sector 8, Mexico. As this time flies, we should also be doing infiltration there. It's going to be difficult, but we're taking out six. And this should fully counter that dark event, I guess. 
I that's cool that the uh, countering dark events is like all these assault chains. Templar, Libby, Gentle. Uh yeah, we're gonna bring Pierce as assault infantry. And then maybe our skirmisher as well. So we got two field medics, a marine, assault infantry. Let's switch this to scatter gun and traditional sword. Uh, flashbang here. I'm fine with that. Bullpup. We got the PCS chip in here. Let's give you the old world. Trauma kits. So revive. We've got that reposition. Oh, right. Oh, I just realized. <laughs> oh, no. I just realized these guys don't use the sawed off. That was the other class. Ugh. Okay, well, I'll bring the pistol then. I mean, we can still hit with the old world assault rifle. It's not the end of the world. But, uh, yeah, I got that a little bit confused. Flashbang here, scatter gun, old world. Do we want to bring any of those hunter rifles? Definitely don't want to bring it on you. I don't know if we've even uh, shown this yet, actually. So, on the assault infantries, uh, you gain bonuses to defense, crit hit defense, and critical hit chance against enemies within the assault infantry's close quarter battle dominance radius. So, when enemies are close, these are what you get. Um, the stat bonuses start at 5%. So, defense, critical hit defense, and critical hit chance are all boosted by 5% when they're within four tiles. Attacks against targets within the CQB dominance radius cannot be dodged or grazed. So that's really huge. At rank 3, you get bonuses to defense, crit hit defense, and critical hit chance to 10%, and the radius is increased to 5. And at 6, those are boosted to 15, and the radius is up to 6. Many of the Salt Infantry's abilities apply within their CQB dominance, radi dominance radius, scaling up accordingly. So you want to get in there and fight. Uh, what's his health? 6? Not bad. We do have running gun. I have nothing else to worry about at the moment, but that's how that class works. I think this is the loadout that we're going to go with. We got the sawed off shotgun on the Marines. Ripjack there, obviously. Sword or combat knife. The knife actually might not be horrible. Only because um, we could get a lot more. Uh, the enemies are lower health, and we could have the higher crit chances. But yeah, I think this is how we're gonna do it. We'll keep her with the with the pistol. We'll keep him with the arc thrower that we haven't even used yet, and uh, we'll go from there. This is gonna be this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough, but. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you soon. And then short, right after this mission, we'll be jumping into another one. Uh, remember, though, we'll always just keep to one mission per episode. So we're probably... The next one will probably be a bit shorter. Uh, this one is probably average length, which is nice. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Enjoy the meme of the day. If you don't know what that is, it's the very end of the video. Just a little, you know, thank you for watching. Bye now.